mean, it was... No, yeah, the it, interior, was, yeah, I thought it was a very nice car. It was just that acceleration. See, see that's what you need for practicality right there. Right. It's just an open <laughs> trunk on your camera. <laughs> hey, everyone, it's Dave. Uh, welcome to this 2020 Mazda CX-5 some trim all-wheel drive. It's got a Apple CarPlay, some nice leather interior. As you can see, it's a blue exterior covered in pollen. It's got Apple CarPlay, adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, nice leather steering wheel, heated seats, and 25,000 miles on the dash. That's because it's my uh, my girlfriend's car. Guys, say hi to Nicole. <laughs> Be nice, she's very nervous. <laughs> Nicole and I have been dating for, you ask her, uh, <laughs> a year and a half. A year and a half. She's very nervous, but um, she's going to do great. So this is her car. Um, this is her daily driver. And yeah, so we'll take a little walk around. Uh, Nicole's going to give us her kind of, you know, commentary on this car. Uh, she's not as much as a car enthusiast as me. <laughs> Nicole, how many cars have I had since we started dating? Three. Three. <laughs> I had the Tesla before I met her, and then I had the Mustang, I had the Volvo, and then I had the, now I have the Audi. So, when do you think the next one's coming? In a month. <laughs> Nicole wants a dog first, though. So, <laughs> yeah, this is her car. And, um, we'll just do a little walk around. You can stay in the car. <laughs> oh. It's a gross day out. This is her car. Just ignore the people. Listen to that engine purr. Oh, it won't pop the trunk. So yeah, power lift gate. Good amount of space, seats fold down. There's Nicole. <laughs> no kick to open. Good looking car though. I like these wheels. Nice cozy blanket back here. Leather's really nice. Got a sunroof. Oh, I hope you can see that. Comes with your very own Nicole. <laughs> Lots of pollen. Really kill my allergies. Is it still recording? Wait, yeah, I know, it's still recording, okay. Wait, can we cut this out? Yeah, I'll cut, oh, okay. I'll cut out the stuff you know. <laughs> Maybe I won't. <laughs> All right. So initial driving, um, we've driven this car a couple road trips uh, in and out of the city as well. So lots of stop and go, lots of highway driving. Um, as we all know, I'm not a big fan of uh, SUV crossovers. So I don't like SUVs crossovers. But this car is, would you say it's comfortable? Yeah, I think it's comfortable for what it like. It's supposed to be a small, uh, you know, compact SUV so I think it's comfortable for that but mm -hmm. probably too small for most people looking for SUVs yeah I would agree this this compact SUV class is I don't know I feel like if you're gonna go SUV you're gonna go uh, like full size than this, yeah. full, mid to full size yeah agreed. we'll get to that right <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah so uh, the car is pretty comfy over bumps uh, the one thing I don't like is the steering it's very it's very yeah. stiff I feel like when I'm on the highway, I have to like use more than a finger to keep it in the lane. Um, and it doesn't have any steering assist either. So, Nicole, what do you think of like the like the interior design? Like all yeah, this. I actually like the interior a lot. I think it's like simple. Like there's not a lot of buttons, which some people might see as like a negative, but I actually think it's a positive because it's all very easy to use. Mm -hmm. I've had no issues at all with the touch screen. Um, it works very well. Well, it has one of these controllers, right, for the touchscreen, but also yeah. you can... but also you can, yeah, exactly. When you're, I guess, when you're parked? No, right? when you're moving, too. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I never noticed that. Um, but yeah, then you have these buttons down here, which is good, too. This little spinny thing is kind of fun to use. <laughs> I, I actually agree with her sometimes. I'm like, when we're driving or stuff. And also, when I click everything, I'm very uh, aggressive. <laughs> I'm always like, mm, mm. Um, now I'm going to break it. <laughs> Yeah, so just even going into this turn, it's like, I just feel like the car, the wheels are, I don't know, it's like going all over the place. Um, but yeah, you, like Nicole said, you get a lot of the controls that you need that are physical, but there's nothing like 
crazy. It's kind of well spursed out. You got enough on the steering wheel, got enough over here, got enough on the windows down there, down here. It's a uh, good design overall, in my opinion. Um, and the screen does exactly what you need it to do. It's got CarPlay. It's nothing too crazy. It's not in your face. Good eyesight. Definitely better integrated than I would say in my car. Um, I was telling Nicole yesterday, I'm not the biggest fan of the screen in my car, how it's designed, but it does its trick, so. I'm not going to see a fourth car coming because of that. Maybe, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how confident you <laughs> uh, What do you think of the leather color? Yeah, that's actually probably one of my favorite parts about this car. I understand that's probably not important to a lot of people. No, it's important to a lot of people, I would say. I like the light gray a lot, and I like how there's like this like accent here of the, the you know like the fake wood. Yeah. I think it like looks sharp on the inside, um, actually, and the outside. I like the out exterior color a lot too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, so I think, I think it's nice. Yeah, I think the blue is a pretty good subtle exterior. Yeah. I know you're a big fan of a white car I as we like pass by white cars. For sure. For sure. Um, what would you say your second favorite color is? Um, I would say, well, honestly, probably navy. Yeah, I would say white is probably oh, my first. Oh, I thought color. you were gonna probably say black. Navy. What? Do, no, and, I don't, yeah. I don't think, yeah. Cole's got good taste. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so this road in uh, the area is pretty bumpy, um, and they actually did a lot of paving on it, but yeah. I, I think this car does pretty well, but I'm going to be honest, I don't know, I, I, I would say the car still hits as we're drinking Duncan. <laughs> the car still hits bumps pretty uh, aggressively. I know. I I think a lot of people like that about Mazdas. They yeah, they're like I, a little more sporty. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely you. Definitely feel the bumps and like the turn, like the turns in the road mm -hmm. too. But I, I wouldn't necessarily say that's a negative. Yeah, I, in my opinion, I think that's just the balance on SUVs. You have to strike because if you're yeah. too soft, then you're gonna be like all over the place because you're just in a taller car. Exactly. So, all right. What else? Exterior. Um. Oh. So Nicole, what's the uh, what's the one thing you really don't like about this car besides its space? The one thing that I like think is yeah. <laughs> so it definitely draws back a lot, like when you accelerate. Um, I was initially in a Hyundai Tucson before this car, and it did the exact same thing. And I thought when I was test driving this one, I didn't notice it as much, but it's definitely been an ongoing thing. Mm -hmm. It does it like. I'm, I'm probably not describing this the right way, but like you once you push to put, you know, once you push down it definitely draws back and then it does get to the speed but it, the drawback is definitely a few seconds mm -hmm. and you notice it like if you're driving a lot of other cars that this car has it a lot more than the other cars do um so that's probably the biggest negative in terms of especially in this area like there's times where you really need to accelerate to get yeah. in front of other cars because there's a lot of cars um so that's definitely a negative yeah so this car has the two and a half four liter with a six speed automatic i and it's not turbocharged so there's really not a lot of torque at the low end as nicole is describing like you really if you put your and i'm gonna be honest nicole's probably not the kind of person who floors it so yeah. she's not forcing the car yeah. to downshift as low as it can go um and you know even just there i put it maybe halfway three quarters and it it really just isn't as peppy it's only like 190 horsepower yeah. um and I, I just think in a car like this, it's not really acceptable when you need that torquey low endness. Uh, so this car has pretty good safety systems. Uh, you know, Nicole's a very good driver, so she doesn't trigger them as much. Um, but it's got like, see, I actually really like that. And I'm gonna be honest. I, you know, a lot of cars definitely flash and make some kind of noise, but that noise I feel like really gets your attention. Yeah. Um, it's almost like nice you can just well you can just flick now people think i'm crazy because i'm signaling <laughs> directions uh but it really gets your attention it's almost like kind of like a, a blind spot check alert um before you have to look at the mirror and the light and then look into your actual blind spot um adaptive cruise control actually is pretty nice but again there's no lane centering so it's like i don't know kind of a still got to do a little bit more on the road trips but that's that's pretty standard fare brakes are good they're a little little spongy but they you know they stop you when you need to i guess i'm used to sports cars so <laughs> yeah i think the brakes are pretty good yeah i mean what would you what would your take be on just like the safety of the car overall as a driver do you yeah, feel I confident weather-wise and yeah i think it definitely drives good in the weather i mean i think 
people are probably like compared to other I don't know if this is considered like small compact SUVs it probably yeah. has less safety features just because really the only safety feature it has is the like when the, you're switching the blind to spots yeah blind spot. uh -huh. yeah um, but like it doesn't have like like if you I don't know if you like veer off to the, the side it doesn't have like the like the wheel won't vibrate or anything like mm -hmm. that so I think it probably has less safety features but I haven't found myself like necessarily needing those yeah okay hmm I mean, we don't really get a lot of crazy weather out here. It's deep snow and ice yeah. and stuff. We're definitely fortunate about that, but it definitely gives an extra confidence. Um, I'm trying to think what else. I don't know. The next car. Yeah, okay. So as we hit a lot of these bumps, and I'm reminded that this is still a compact SUV <laughs> and not a sports car. Nicole, what are you, uh, where are we going? Where are you looking to get into next? Nissan. Oh boy. To hopefully get a Pathfinder. Even a mainstream. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've done like a lot of test driving over the past few weeks in terms of like a step up from this car in terms of size. So like more of like like the Nissan Pathfinder or Honda Pilot. Yeah, like a compact SUV to a mid-size SUV, I guess would be the best way to describe it. Yeah, so like seven seater, so a little bit bigger to actually to eight seater. Um the Pathfinder is the one that we felt has had the best acceleration, um, the most safety features in terms of like a panoramic camera, um, the lane assist, the wheel will um, like buzz if you shift mm -hmm. quickly. Yeah. Um, so out of all the cars we've test driven, the Pathfinder has been at the top of the list. Um, so we are headed there now to potentially trade in this Mazda for the Nissan Pathfinder. <laughs> so wish us luck. <laughs> But yeah, I, it's my expertise in car buying. I told Nicole once we started driving cars, just pick the car you want. We'll find the deal. Um, it's not like she's comparing, uh, you know, different classes of cars and different brand levels. She's looking all mainstream. She's looking at the same class of car. Kia Sorento. Yeah. What was the other one? Kia Sorento. Um, Explorer. Atlas, Volkswagen. Yeah, Ford Explorer. Alice, yep, as she Ford said, from Explorer. VW. So they're all mainstream yeah, you could say one brand's probably a little bit more premium than the other. Um, so why did you not want to do a Mazda? Yeah, so we actually did test drive the... So Mazda is, I guess, discontinuing their CX-9, but that's like the step that's next in line from this car. That's a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. And then they're coming out with, what is it, like the... Uh, CX-90. CX, yeah, CXC-90 or something. CX-90, so just, yeah. Yeah, so we test drove that one, and I was, like, excited to test drive that one. Cause, like, I was it very so excited. Because it so on the outside, and it, like, it's definitely like... seemed to be, like, what we were looking for. But it's the same kind of thing. Like, we were going through a light, and we were, like, needing to accelerate, and there was that, like, same drawback. Um, I feel like we're going to get a lot like, of flack for saying that. We're well, probably not. <laughs> just, and we did talk about this, too. Like, we did. It was literally the car had just arrived on the dealership lot. But it had like, miles on it, so it definitely was but driven. it was, like, 15 miles. It was, like, yeah. such a low amount of miles. So I yeah. don't know if it, like, did just need... It was just struggling in regards to that. We, we mm -hmm. were going to try to drive it again, but, like, I was just concerned because of, like... That's, like, my biggest concern with this car. Um, so we decided not to test drive it again, but... We were open. I would have went with another Mazda if it wasn't for that. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, it wasn't like... It didn't blow you away. Uh, the interior is very nice, but it didn't blow you away otherwise. I mean, it was... No, yeah. The it, interior... Was, yeah, I thought it was a very nice car. It was just that acceleration. See, see that's what you need for practicality right there. Right. It's just an open <laughs> trunk on your camera. <laughs> with it raining. There's always something. There's always something weird in this area. Um. So, yeah. I, I and me personally with the CX ninety, I was very excited because everyone was saying it's like yeah. a BMW X five competitor. <laughs> it's got this inline six turbo engine, and I like, I, I I don't know. Maybe I was like nervous to lay into it, but I definitely laid into it on the like accelerator, and I just didn't. It just didn't impress. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they limit the revs and the speed from the factory, but it was. It's hard to get a accurate reading. We might we, well, I don't know if we might, but. If we if we had to go back to Mazda, like if we could get the best deals from them, maybe we give it another shot. But yeah, because maybe it was just like for whatever reason, mm -hmm. the car we were driving just because the comments online were that it's 
for Mazda because this is a common, like the Mazda's drawing back seems to be a fairly common thing. Mm -hmm. And the comments online were that this one, was, the new one was not going to draw back at all. So like maybe that is something that like we should give another try to. We'll see. It's also nice to just go into different brands, try out different cars and Very stuff. <laughs> Coles doesn't, hasn't bought four cars in the past ye two years, so. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Nicole reminded me that we pull up to this like intersection onto like a medium highway, and we're gonna get honked at in about two seconds. But uh, I don't care. There's some cars that like come, and you really have to just kind of lay into it. Oh, we actually just spun out the wheels there, yeah. and it, yeah, that really does. Wow, that's really bad. <laughs> yeah, that was that was tough. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't do well when you're like coming from an entire stop to, mm -hmm. to, to need to go fast, like in, yeah. especially on this road, because people are you know coming 65 miles an mm -hmm. hour, and you have to stop there because if usually it's there's a lot of traffic, so it's it definitely doesn't do well when you're going from a full stop mm -hmm. to accelerate onto a highway. Yeah, and I, I totally agree. Like it doesn't give you confidence, and it's not yeah. like that's the difference. You don't need the speed to be like a, a speed demon, but yeah. you want to feel like you're safe merging, and exactly. you kind of have to be in this area because everyone drives 20 over the speed limit. Right, exactly. Uh, everyone's driving these big cars, and they don't really know how to drive. Like this merge yeah, over. Like this guy is gonna be stuck. He like can't even. Yeah. Fuck, I don't know what's well, up with him. Like, but like these else? people just kind of keep. <laughs> a lot of people just like are New Jersey mindset. They just like to uh, stay in their own world. <laughs> um, but yeah, so on the highway, it's pretty smooth. And Nicole yeah. said to me, like, the car is pretty smooth for a four cylinder. Like, it's not, you know, we definitely like the sixes of the, yeah. the bigger cars that we're trying. Um, but I would say that this car definitely just lacks that get up and go. But once it's going, it's good. And, and stop and go, I, I actually think it's pretty, it's pretty good. Um, doesn't beat you up too much. This guy, I'm going to beat this guy, though. He doesn't get out of our way. <laughs> But uh, you know the what, what would you think of like it on the highway? Like how does it sound once we're up to speed? I think once up to speed, it actually does drive pretty nice. I mm -hmm. mean, I'm not a super fast driver. I'm not like shifting lanes a lot or anything like that. But like I do feel like it drives pretty well once it meets that speed. Mm -hmm. It's just getting to that speed that there's a drawback. It's not, it, and it can man, it kind of can maintain the speed as well. It's just getting to it. Yeah. How about like noise on the highway? Does it seem loud in here? Well, the engine's going, but like wind like noise. It's not the most quiet of cars. Huh. I don't know that it bothers me because like I always have the radio on or something. But yeah, but that's another thing. They they typically people will uh, associate quality with like a wind noise on the highway and stuff and how bolted the other the car is. But a lot of times you have the radio to drown things out. Um, so I hundred percent agree with you on that. Yeah. It's kind of a it's kind of a mute point. Um, yeah. I think for a lot of cars in this class, so it's definitely, the quality's definitely there. Oh, yeah. Um, right now, we're, I'm just trying to show active cruise control. See how it does passing this car. So we're getting over, getting over. It definitely hesitates a little bit once it sees the opening, and obviously doesn't have the speed to really pass that what you want, but, uh, yeah. That's really all we have to talk about. Anything else you want to say? No, I don't think so. Well, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I think uh, Nicole's a pretty standout uh, <laughs> co-star, right? Don't know about no, she did great. See, she brings a she brings a less nerdy side to all of this. <laughs> and I, she did a very good job. So everyone, follow and subscribe and like because of Nicole. <laughs> <laughs>